Hello everybody, my name is Scott Titterman. I'm the Vice President for Petrosis in the Middle East, Asia and Pacific region and today I'd like to introduce to you an exciting new feature which has been released in Petrosis version 17.5. It involves well data exchange or the ability to write well data into Petrel projects from many of the data sources which Petrosis supports. This project was a combined effort with one of our customers in the Middle East Asia Pacific region. In version 17.5 of Petrosis, we release an enhancement to the exchange framework and I'm going to talk about the well data wizard inside of Petrosis which is part of that exchange framework. And the well import wizard really allows us to read well data from any of the existing well input data sources in Petrosis, which is a host of third party data sources, and to write that well data directly to a Petrel project. The Petrel project could be a blank Petrel project with no well data in it, or it could be an existing Petrel project which has existing well data inside of it. Petrosis writes the well data through the Ocean API provided by Slumge, and this allows the underlying data storage environment for that particular Petrel project to be a host of the, of the things that are supported by Petrel, but importantly to many of our users, including studio projects. We allow users to write back well data types from a Petrel project. So the Wells import wizard not only allows us to write into Petrel, but to take data for wells that might have been uh, improved um, or, or worked on in the Petrel environment and write that back to other data sources. That could be important to us in workflows such as uploading to a corporate repository, a bit like Petrus's dbmap or a master PPDM 3.8 repository. In 17.5 of Petrosis, the Wells Import Wizard is now part of the workflow surface modelling environment. What that means is it means I'm able to set up a data exchange job where well data can be moved into Petrel and really becomes part of a saved repeatable workflow. That allows me to set up the data moving steps and repeat and rerun the well data move as many times and as frequently as I need to in order to keep the data in the Petrel project synchronised according to our business rules. In Petrosis 17.5 there really are a wide range of third party well data sources which we can use as input and to write well data into Petrel. So for example, this allows us to bring well data from OpenWorks, Dug Insight, Finder, Geographics, corporate repositories like DBMAP, PPDM 3.8, the Paradigm EPOS framework, which includes Geolog. It allows us to bring data from Sizeware, ODM, Geoframe, and many of the IHS data sources, including Kingdom, Petra, and the IHS InfoHub. So there are a lot of places that we enable you in 17.5 of Petrosis to write well data from and into your Petrel environment. What data types do we support? Version 17.5 of Petrosis is the first release of this and we've chosen to support well header information, directional surveys and formation tops. When we write well header information, we absolutely write a range of the attributes, including well names, dates, coordinates, status, depth datums, depth values, uh, and so on. And these were the priorities of our partner um, in the first phase of work. Our developers will now turn their attention to phase two, and some of the data types that we've been discussing with a variety of clients includes quite a rich detail of well knowledge. So more information about the sands and the zones that the well bore might be intercepting and how the perforations and the, and the downhole uh, environment uh, is, uh, is configured. A variety of different test data, including drill stem tests, repeat formation tests, pressure tests and the associated analysis with that data. We're looking at writing full hole cores and sidewall cores, including associated analysis with, that, with those data types. And we're also looking at the palynology geochemistry oriented data uh, that may be associated to well data. 
So you can see as we jump into phase two our attention turns to quite a detailed and deep array of the well data. We're open to uh, existing Petrus clients and interested parties to uh, suggest their business priorities and become part of the partnership to see uh, this functionality further developed and developed at the pace and accelerated form that your business requires. So we're certainly open to seeing some funding and we're certainly open to seeing clients participate with us as we embark on phase two of the work. This is what the Well Import Wizard dialog looks like broadly in version 17.5 of Petrasus. For the user running the Well Import, they first go ahead and select their input data source. As discussed already, this is a wide range of third party and Petrasus data sources. So you might choose to move data from Paradigm or ODM or Geoframe or Dug Insight or Sizeware. You would obviously select the Petrel project you wanted to write to as the output data source, the project you want to load the well data into, and then you go ahead and select the data types that you would like to move. When we write well data to other data sources, such as Petrus DBMAP or well data files, there are other uh, data types enabled. For Petrel in 17.5, well header, formation top zones and picks, and directional surveys are supported. Full merge, replace and keep options are available when writing to Petrel and this allows us to control how the well data is going to be written into a project. If it's a new project, obviously we're going to go ahead and, and write all of the data, but if it's an existing Petrel project, the user is provided with the ability to choose to merge or keep or replace a variety of different data and you can set up business rules which apply to uh, the task for different types of data. So for example here, the well header, we're choosing to keep the well header. We're choosing to match the wells from the input data source based on the well name. And when we write into Petrel, we do preserve the Petrel GUIDs. So you won't see uh, unreasonably uh, additional wells being added to your environment. In this instance, we're choosing to merge but keep the formation picks and so that means where we've got an existing one we'll keep it, otherwise we'll merge new formation tops in and we're going to keep any directional surveys that exist. So that, they're the sorts of things which you can define as, and, and repeat as part of the workflow. The workflow can be set up inside of the workflow surface modelling dialogue inside of Petrasus and this allows us to create repeatable workflows for a host of activities that might involve Petrel and other data sources. Let's have a, bit, a quick look at that. The first task here is the file exchange well option. I'm electing to move well data from a Paradigm EPOS project, and that could be on Windows or on Linux, into the Petrel environment. I've elected to, as part of the process, run some Petrus's surface modelling. I've gone ahead to create an exit, a grid inside of Petrasus from Excel and some Paradigm well data, so a couple of input data sources. Once I've computed that grid, I want to upload the grid directly into this Petrel model. I want to exchange a grid. I want to grab a grid from a Paradigm data source and also bring that into the Petrel model that I'm going to work with. I'd like to get an interpreted 3D surface. In this case, I'm going to bring it from my AHS Kingdom interpretation and move that into the Petrel model. Last and certainly not least, I'd really like to have some geographical context. So I'm going to connect to my corporate Arc SDE repository and use the Petrasus Spatial Data Translator to move that data directly into Petrel. And of course, I could use a host of the other input spatial data sources that Petrasus supports to move that context into the model. Let's focus again back on well data exchange and in 17.5 of Petrasus we support header information, directional surveys and tops. And let's have a look at it work in practice. Here we have a Petrel 2013 project in the background and it's a blank project. We've launched Petrasus and we've launched the Wells Import Wizard which helps us to exchange data with Petrel. As discussed previously, the user goes ahead to select the input data sources and in this case we're picking a Geoframe project running on Linux. 
The user selects the patrol project which is active in the background and clicks the next button. They're presented a dialogue which helps them to select or sub-select a collection of wells that they would like to move using a variety of rules. In this case, we'll just pick all the wells that are in the GeoFrame project. User now presented a list of those wells in case they wanted to optionally turn on or off some. And now they're presented with a list of the interpreted formation tops and picks in the GeoFrame project. Again, they could select some or all of those to move in. Now set up the business rules to move the well header, the formation tops and the directional surveys and zones. Choose patrol specific options such as which well folder and well grouping would you like to apply and set up a log file so that we can track the process of moving that data into the patrol project. Click OK and we now have a task added to the workflow surface modelling dialogue. We go ahead, click play on that task and now we've started the import job into the patrol project in the background. You can see that we can continue to interact with both Patrol and Petrosis while that job is taking place. And we're about halfway through. There's about 13 or 14 odd wells that have been loaded, 20, that have been imported into the project. You can see in the top left the input dialog in the Patrol project. As each well is loaded, that well is appearing in the Patrol environment. The bottom of the Petrosis dialogue, there's a log showing we've loaded about 30 wells, about 30 directional surveys and about 130 odd formation interpretations or picks. Let's now have a quick look inside of Patrol to QC that data load. So here's a spreadsheet which shows us the well trace or the directional survey uh, as, as uh, described. Here's a different well, quite a lot more detail uh, in the directional survey for this particular well. We can QC that and make sure that the information loaded has been loaded appropriately. We could also visually QC it naturally using a range of the display uh, options inside the Patrol interface now that we have those wells that are there. So let's go ahead and turn on all of the wells that we've just imported from the GeoFrame project and we can now browse and see a range of those uh, those trajectories and tops and, and wells in, um, in all of the function that's available to us inside of Patrol. Okay, just to summarise, phase one of the well data exchange is now available to all Petrosus clients in version 17.5 of Petrosus. Uh, this is commercially available and can be downloaded via contacting our support team. Our development team is now turning our attention to phase two, where we're going to look at writing deeper attributes in the well data object into Patrol. We're very open and seeking actively client input and funding to see that work associated to business priorities of clients and also accelerated at the rate which is necessary to see customers achieve their business objectives. It's been possible to see through the presentation today that the functionality for wells import and data exchange is really a subset of comprehensive ability to move quite a lot of data into the Petrel environment and a range of other data exchange capabilities, which include the ability to move a host of GIS data, 3D seismic surfaces, grids, fault sticks, wells and other data to and from third party packages. If you'd like more information or you'd like to download version 17.5 of Petrosus and try this out for yourself, please go ahead and contact support at petrosus.com.au and your inquiry will be directed to the right people. Thanks very much for spending the time to listen. We hope you enjoy the new function.